how to use sub brushes in Affinity Photo. First thing to do, just going to quickly create some sub brushes. Basically, they're just image files. So I just simply go to a file like this. I've just got an empty document and I'm going to apply a brush stroke. You could use shapes, you could use anything to create a design. So simply just go here and I'm just going to quickly add just a random design, which is going to be my sub brush. Something like that. What you need to do then is file and export and just save it as PNG format. Just going to go for PNG format there. So export. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. So there's sub brush three. I'm just going to go for a sub brush four. PNG. Save. Ah, already got one. So maybe let's go for something. I, for some weird reason, I can't see it, but uh, sub brush 10. Sub brush 10 there. Okay, so I've got that brush. Well, what you can then do, I'm just gonna go to another completely fresh document, and I'm gonna use the brushes. Now, I'm gonna use, in this case, I'm gonna be using the paint mixer brush. Doesn't matter, I could use paint brush, but I'm gonna use paint mixer. So select that, and then select one of the brushes over here. Just one of the standard brushes. If you can't find the brushes, go to View, Studio and Brushes. Select a brush. I'm just gonna go with a fairly default ink brush. And you can see if I apply it first time, then you can just see it's like that. Well, I want to extend it, make it a bit more interesting than that. Obviously I can modify the width, flow, etc. But there's an option here, more. And exactly the same can be found on the other brush. So click more and it will come up with this brush selection. What you can do then, you can change the size, of course, your dynamics, modify the size jitter, modify numerous other things, hue jitter if you want, saturation jitter, but you can also use sub brushes. Now I'm not gonna go into all these sort of things because actually to be honest, they're quite subtle sometimes, these at current nozzle. But you've got the sub brushes here. Obviously at the moment, there's nothing there. What you need to do is add bitmap. And obviously I've just created some bitmaps, PNG files. So add bitmap, and I've got one here, just a very basic design there, another one there, and I'm just gonna go open. So you've got the design there, you can see that, and you can see it very subtly applied around the edge there. You can modify it, you can remove it as well, you've got to click, but there's also an edit option. So edit, and then you can modify the size, and you can see as you change that, just changes that, and that's what's going to be applied, the brush there, not this brush. Obviously, that's the brush that's going to be applied. And you can modify the accumulation so you can see less of it. You can also move, change hardness. See subtle. Some of these changes are very subtle. Spacing, for some weird reason, you can't change. Sometimes you probably can. I assume there's a reason why spacing is there. Probably for the other one. Obviously, for some weird reason, you can't change the spacing here. Not certain why, but change the flow. And you can change rotation. Obviously, since it's a circular design, it's not going to be make much difference. You can also go to dynamics for this. Same, change the size jitter, accumulation, and you can change the flow. And you can see it just sort of makes it slightly fainter. You can also change rotation jitter as well. So you can see you can create a whole range of different designs. Change the scatter, change the see, scatter wise, it spreads out a bit. And Shape jitter, hue jitter, so you can change that as well. You can see then you can there's a subtle change in the colour, so you've got some greens, etc. kicking in. And also what you can do, you can also go over here, and there's a number of options here. So you can change there as well. You can modify that and you can see it that has an effect on the design there. And you can do the same with size as well. That will change some of the size there, make them smaller, bigger. And then you've got your design. And I'm going to close that. Now I've got my jitter brush there. Now I can of course apply at this point. So close. And you can see now, you can see the design is slightly different from what it was before. Again, click more if you want to work on it a bit more. So you can actually use it same time as when you've got the panel open as well. So you can tweak it if you want that way as well. So I would say that go to edit again. Now again, you can always remove it. 
modified size, spacing again, can't access, flow, all those are set. Textures as well you could add, so you could add some texture in if you wish to do that. But I'm just going to go with dynamics there. Maybe move that down, change that, and keep that fairly without any jitter. Or we could put it up, up to you, of course. And again, you can modify these. So what you can also do, of course, you can have more than one. So you can create even more interesting brushes. So I don't want to click edit, I want to add another brick map. So another one, just going to go, now you could add the same one, if you're reasonable. Two or three, ten. I don't know if there's a limit, to be honest. But here's the one that I created earlier. Let's just go with that one. Click open there. And you've got that. Now go and select that one. Don't select. If you select that one, edit. You'll only be selecting and editing the circle. Go for this one, and you can then edit that. So edit. And again, you can see the effect there. So that overlays on top of the other one. You can also change blending modes as well, which may or may not have an effect. You can see subtle changes there. The thing, but I'm just going to go with, in this case, normal. And again, you can add rotation there. Dynamics, you can also add maybe some scatter there, so it's spread out a bit more. Some jitter there for the X, and maybe you jitter again, so you can get some. You can see, again, this all becomes really quite an unusual combination. And again, you can add another one. So add a bitmap, and I'm just going to go for maybe a more solid one. There you are, go with that one. Go down there, and at this point you can't see it. So edit. And again, you can see there it's obviously crunched over there. So now it's a bit there, but you can change the accumulation so it's not so there, shape, and so on. Dynamics, size jitter, accumulation jitter, and you can create all kinds of different designs. And you can see the obviously the change to this one. So if you think, oh, it's too faint now. What you can do, obviously, you can just modify flow there so you can see more of that. And obviously, I could continue forever, just change and tweaking, but I've got that brush now. And then what you can do, you can apply it. And you can see you can get some all kinds of very odd, and of course you can use different colours. So double click on that, maybe go with red. And you can see obviously slight changes there. Maybe go with like blue. And of course, this is a mix, so you can change things obviously up here as well, how it loads, auto load brush. So you can change that. You can go for strength, reduce that down. And also, if you want, you can, of course, use symmetry and all those sorts of things. Flow, change of size, clean brush. And just add that in there. And just all kinds of different, amazing, colourful designs that can be generated using this. And this is very simple to use this brush editor feature with sub brushes. So literally billions of different brushes can be created, obviously creating a bit of a mess over there. So again, simply if you want to, you can just go back to another brush. I'm just going to go, maybe I'm going to go with it. Let's go with the standard paintbrush. So there's a standard paintbrush there. So again, what you can do, go to more. And again, you can go to sub brushes. You can add bitmap. And again, go down, select one of those. Maybe that line one. So you can create lines there and you can then edit that. Also you've got blend, you can raise as well, you can use it, you can take away as well. But I'm going to go with just blend at this point. You can change. Now this is very subtle changes in some of these things. You probably look at it and think, well what's actually changed? So you edit that again and then just increase that. And again you can see the result there. And of course it's still live so you can always just apply it and see the result, which is quite nice because it would be annoying if it was just within the, the panel that you could just see the result. So you can then tweak that. And again, you can obviously now rotation. You can also add jitter again because, of course, this is not circular. It's going to make it even. So you can make a nice sort of 
brush like that. And you can change the size jitter, flow jitter again, accumulation. And again, you can modify these if you want to add a bit of variation. You can see, just get little lumps and there. And then what you can do, I'm just going to go down to hue jitter. And you can see you can create some subtle changes there. You've got random, you can also do it like pressure, so you can modify it depending on pressure, as well as change it here. It's really quite flexible. Whole many different kinds of brushes can be created using this approach. And again, you've got scatter there, so you can scatter it or do X and Y, close. And again, you can go over here, and you can see now you've got obviously got some color into this. It does change there. Again, if I just change that to another colour, close. You can see the design. Obviously, you can quickly and rapidly fill. And of course, what you can do if you want, you can use this as the bitmap, the sub brush. So you can just save that. Just simply go to File and Export. Save it as a PNG file. And do that and also you can use of course type you can use images you can use shapes a whole range of different designs that can be used for a source for brushes these sub brushes to make some really very interesting designs simply from a very very basic design there that's saying not as many other options like arrays you can see just cuts away the design personally i generally always use the blend but you can always of course change it and you can modify it again. Very subtle changes there. You can see subtle changes when you flick through there, just different. There. And that's it. Sub brushes, obviously, creating sub brushes, very easy. Use all kinds of sources and then just apply it like that. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always had new tutorials about Finity Photo, Finity Designer, Photoshop, Illustrator and many, many other applications. Also, if you've got any questions, comments, please let me know. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.